So the Super Bowl has come to pass, which means it is time for me to put on my own personal biggest event of the year. Today, we are going to be ranking all of the Neopets colors, including the lab exclusives, because I'm not leaving anybody behind here, okay? No man is left behind in my sights. We have a lot of lovely tiers here, courtesy of Tier Maker, because of course, I have to fund this website at least once a month. I don't know why I live here, I don't know why this is where my address goes to, but I always end up on tiermaker.com. Country roads take me home to the place I belong, which is Tier Maker. At the top of our tiers, I have a Loose Ninja Dora Endgame. If you haven't seen, Neopets has released a Valentine's Day tarot deck, and it's called Fairy Friends. Notice how I said Fairy Friends. Not Fairy Lovers, not Fairy Girlfriends, but Fairy Friends. And on the cover is Jadora and a Lucin looking like that, which is extremely interesting to me because that doesn't look very fairy friendly to me. That looks much more fairy lesbian. In my personal opinion, in my personal and professional opinion, that looks a little bit fruity. That looks a little bit Jadora and a Lucin fruity, so you know what? I said it. I'm gonna keep saying it. Jadora and a Lucin endgame, or I scream, or I scream so loud, I cry, I cry out of my eyes. Jadora and a Lucin endgame now. Next, we have Wednesday morning iced coffee. It has to be Wednesday morning for it to work in this specific context, okay? Wednesday morning iced coffee is like the only thread you can hang on to on a Wednesday, okay? You're barely living. Tomorrow and Friday, they're gonna be ghost days. You're not gonna be a person. But on Wednesday, you have a glimmer of hope and that is your iced coffee. Your iced coffee can save you on Wednesday and that's why it's like second tier. It's not first tier because you know what? You still need to be saved, but it is very good and I wish I could have a Wednesday iced coffee every single day because it tastes best when you want to cry. Below that is having a panic attack in Costco, and like what is so mid about having a panic attack? What's so mid-tier about having a panic attack? That's a low-tier thing. I feel very seen in a Costco when I'm having a panic attack, right? I feel very seen. I feel like I am amongst friends in a Costco because people are too busy looking at their two-gallon thing of L'Oreal conditioner to care what I'm doing. There's a food court right there full of napkins. I can go into the bathroom to cry, and even though I'm incredibly overwhelmed, I can tell you this from experience, it's Costco you have to do Costco. Below that is kid playing basketball outside my house. Please stop bouncing that ball, it's gonna give me a headache. I am mentally 80. Please leave me alone, I just wanna watch my fucking soaps, okay? Thank you. Last but not least is the horrors. We all know what the horrors are. We've all been there. I'm not talking about horror movies. I'm talking about the horrors. Thank you. Up first, we have the baby paintbrush. Now the baby paintbrush, I feel like is such a Neopian staple, you know? You can buy it from the Hidden Tower. It's so iconic. Every new age player has owned one at least once. Even if you don't have a baby pet, you've owned a baby paintbrush. You know what I mean? Like, it's a rite of passage. And maybe you have owned a baby pet, because I feel like everybody has at one point had their baby phase. I think it's just a way of life. I think it's just a religion. And the baby paintbrush, it just brings me so much joy because it's like, that's what I think of when I think of a Neopets paintbrush. The baby Aisha, the baby Bloomeroo, the baby Kachik. I don't even like Kachiks, but the baby one is fine. You know, there's a lot of goodness. There's a lot of cuteness. The baby Loop, the baby Geller, all of them are perfect. I just want to take that feeling and put it in a locket. I just want to save it forever. I'm going to go ahead and put like baby paintbrush and maybe Wednesday morning iced coffee. You know, save me baby paintbrush. Save me. I love you. You're beautiful. Don't let anybody change you. Listen to a pink song from 2010, okay? That's how I feel about baby paintbrush. The brown paintbrush is just too dull to me. And there are a couple of the quote unquote boring colors that I actually really like. There's nothing I think of when I think of a brown Neopet that I'm like, yes, this is what I want. It just falls flat on every single level. And if you have a good brown custom, show it to me. I would love to see it because I've never seen one in my life, you know? There's just nothing to grasp from, especially for me and my style. It just reminds me of like having all those Trader Joe's bags littered around your house and you're like, yeah, I went to Trader Joe's. But then you have to get rid of the bags and it feels like you're wasting paper because they're so thick, you know? They're so thick. You're like, ugh, I don't want to throw these away. But it just fills you with like an evolutionary sadness. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about the brown paintbrush. I'm gonna go with like kid playing basketball outside my house. It's not horrifying. It just fills me with like the slightest bit of melancholy. I'm not a fan of it. Not a fan. The checkered paintbrush, however, come here. Listen to me closely. If you are a checkered hater, first of all, look at my child. Look at my child. Be kind, by the way. This is Mignelle. Okay, I took her mouth off. Sorry. She must scream. I won't let her. But like checkered is a good color. It's emo. 
It's perfect for the 2000s vibe of Neopets, and it's also perfect for people who are annoying. Hi. It's so good. It's a good base color. It's distracting, but it's still monochrome, so you're not getting that color clashing. Oh, it's perfect. Are you kidding me? The checkered vans were a staple for a fucking reason, okay? You will fly up to the sun thinking you're better than me and fall with your wax wings, Icarus. Leave me alone and leave the checkered paintbrush alone. Leave it to the professionals to understand the checkered paintbrush and its power. All of you, everybody hates this paintbrush. You're fake. A loose and Jadora endgame. Jadora is emo, she would love this. Jadora would understand. Our first lab exclusive color. Sorry about the transparent images. It's like so impossible to find good images of Neopets items. It's hell for me personally. But you know what? We're looking at clay and I wish I wasn't. It makes me really uncomfortable. I am not like a terracotta hater per se, but I feel like this is the least useful Neopets color ever. If I got a zap in my lab ray that was clay, I would have to go outside and like de-stress a little bit. You know, that precious color change and it goes to clay. I don't like the texture of terracotta either, like that kind of clay. It makes my skin crawl. It makes me get goosebumps. I hate it. I despise it. So you know what? I couldn't even give this little Bruce a hug because I would be so terrified. What do you do if you drop him, huh? Now you have a corpse to clean up and you can't even put him in an urn because what if you drop the urn? I don't know what to do about this. I feel like we need to call PETA. Sorry, the horrors. I don't like it. I could not deal with this. The emotional impact is too strong for me as well. Don't like it. Here we have Cloud, okay? And before you go and hate on Cloud for being a cheap color, before you do that, before you look into your wallet and say, ah, I have money. I can afford better than Cloud. How about you think for a minute? How about you be kind? How about you be nice? Cloud is a beautiful color. I love it. It's so gorgeous. I love a periwinkle so much. That's my favorite color ever. So you know what? Back off. First of all, it's mine. Second of all, who doesn't want a nice cloud? You know, a fluffy little cloud on your Neopet and you're crying. You're mad. You're angry. You're saying that's a cheap paintbrush. How about you fill yourself with love? Shut up. There's an endless world of artistic possibilities and you choose to hate. So, um, meet me out fucking back is what I'm saying. Meet me out back. I will demolish you. Wednesday morning iced coffee. Love it. Gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. One drag race. 100% it did. Custard is another lab exclusive. Um, I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> no. No, obviously not, no. I hate this thing, I hate this thing, and I love cows, okay, this cute little cow in the corner. She deserves so much better than to be custard. Why did they make this? I love TNT so much, okay? Think you guys did a great job with a lot of things. Can I have a meeting with you, real quick, where we talk about custard and what happened there? I'm sure none of the people who are currently working at TNT had any hand in this, but like, do you have an explanation? Does anybody? Whose day was ruined by some man that made them do this? Horrors, I'm so sorry, little cow. I am so sorry. You deserve so much better. Help her. My God. Get a paramedic. Get somebody. You are all going to jail for medical malpractice right now. All of you, get in the truck. Oh my God. The Lost Desert paintbrush. Okay. I feel like it's such a cool idea and I do really like it. Like, I think it's neat. I think it's awesome. And a lot of the base colors are so cool but some of the designs trip me up a little bit, but I think like the desert bloomeroo is super cool. I think a lot of aspects of the desert croc really cool, but a lot of the desert pets got so nerfed over conversion that it's just like, ugh, it pains me. It makes me want to start a fundraiser for them. Go on, go fund me. Go fund a little cow to feel better, you know? It makes me sad. It makes me sad. And when I look at desert now, it just feels so lifeless but I feel like the good base colors are kind of throwing me off a little bit. Like I could customize a desert pet to perfection if you let me. I'm gonna go with having a panic attack in Costco. You know, it could be better, but it's not the worst and there are things I like about it. I think there are a lot of neat desert pets. I just wish they weren't nerfed so bad. <laughs> Disco fever paintbrush. Hell yeah, brother. If you're a disco hater, leave me alone. I mean the music genre. The paintbrush, we can talk. We can talk a little bit. I like a lot of the disco designs, and I think that they are completely looked over half of the time. And then the other half of them fill me with rage. It's like bowling alley carpet, which is fantastic, versus like a fever dream on LSD. And that really pisses me off that there's like such a big divide, but not really like that big of one. I don't know what irks me about some of these designs. I cannot pinpoint 
it. I'm not an artist, but I don't like it. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I think like disco fever is just forgotten about half of the time, but it's also so neon that it is a little hard to work with. I want to take disco paintbrush out for like a nice club night, but one that I'm going to forget, you know, one that I'm not going to be thinking about, one that I am simply going to leave in the past in a different era, in the glory of just not knowing a damn thing. You know, I probably did some very illegal things while I was with disco. I feel like I'm going to have to go with having a panic attack in Costco again, like a double. I don't know. I do want to have a disco pet at some point, but like, it's just hard. It's hard. It's taxing on the brain. Electric? I don't know. It's just one of those colors that I feel like when it's executed properly, when it's utilized in a good way, it's so neat. But other times it's like, oh... Okay, you know, all right. I feel like it's the boat that a lot of people put cloud into, which pisses me off. Be better. I don't know, I like the bright blue. I like the oceanic vibes, you know, the 2000s bathroom vibes, but it's just not fleshed out enough. It's not cool enough. I do like it on Ixies. I think it's really cool on Ixies. I think some pets can pull it off super well, but it just reminds me of like solid clear men's deodorant. You know what I mean? Like that kind of vibe, like amped up it scares me, you know, like calm down. I used to be an energy drink type of person and then I got an Adderall and it's like, oh, okay, you know, things work. But it reminds me of me when I was an energy drink person and that's scary. You know, I don't like to confront my past. Kid playing basketball outside my house, I'm sorry. I wish I could put it higher, but I just can't. Eventide is such an interesting color because I really like it in theory and then when I put it on a pet, it's like, eh, okay, you know, the book was better than the movie. And I think it's because of that like cool to warm it makes it so hard to customize them but it's like what if I want to have a little space cow what if I do then what I'm gonna go cry myself to fucking sleep because it doesn't look right it just doesn't work right and that makes me so sad I want an eventide pet I think they're cute like why can't we just talk why can't we just go to therapy why can't we just figure this out you know maybe take a break for a little while and then come back to it with a clear head I can't put it in Wednesday morning iced coffee but I also feel like I can't put it into having a panic attack at Costco but I feel I feel like having a panic attack at Costco is the closest vibe here, you know, because it's kind of like I would see this pattern on a Xanax bottle. The fairy paintbrush, I know I'm gonna get some fucking comments for this, okay? I know I am. But even though there are so many nerfed fairies, there are so many horrible, awful, just completely neglected fairies, I have to put this guy high because there are so many good ones. I know the fairy Usul was fucked over. I know the fairy Aisha was fucked over. I know so many pets were left in the dust. And yes, that does hurt me. But I invite you to consider the fairy Drake. Perhaps the fairy Ixie. The fairy Jetsam. Like, there is hope for the fairy paintbrush. And I have to say that those fairies, they remind me of like that kid's lip gloss with all the glitter in it and it's mostly Vaseline. That's what it reminds me of and that just fills me with a sense of like childlike wonder, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and put this girly in Wednesday morning iced coffee, I think. I know we're kind of congregating at the bottom here, but we're gonna talk later, okay? There are so many paintbrushes I love. We just have to get through the worst ones first. The fire paintbrush. I just kind of want to know why it was done the way it was done, especially with magma being like 20 times cooler. We'll talk about magma later. I feel like it's such a weird choice, but at the same time it's like, what if you want to be Guy Fieri core? What if you want to be Harley Davidson uncle core? I do have one of those. Hi Jason. Hope you're doing well. Sorry about the fourth marriage. Looking at it makes me think of like a barbecue. I don't know. I don't know how else I would have done it though either. It's just an odd concept. Like, I I think a fire pet in theory is cool, but it's kind of like when they called vapes e-cigarettes. You know, it's like, whoa, an e-cigarette, that sounds sick, and then it's like, oh, it's a vape. You just really disappoint me, I guess. I guess the word is disappointed. You know, I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. Ghost? I think ghost is really cool. I think ghost is awesome. I feel like there are so many good things you can do with ghost. You know, it's translucent, and it's not the typical ghost. It's very, like, gooey. Anyway, I think it's neat. I love the red eyes. I love the haunted looks. I love any paintbrush that like changes the facial expression. That's my favorite. I think it's so good and that's why I think like Ghost is actually a very amped up paintbrush. I do wish there was a little bit more variation in like color. I think there could be like some transparency discrepancies there, you know? I think Ghost is cool. I would love to have a dinner date with Ghost, you know? Just like do a dance. Phantom of the Opera style. I'm gonna go with... 
Wednesday morning iced coffee for that as well. Glowing is like my Achilles heel. I hate it. Looking at it makes me angry. It pisses me off in a way that like I cannot personally comprehend. I feel like I need to go to bed and I don't even know why. It's just like glow stick green, which I feel like I should like, but something about glowing specifically pisses me off to the point of no return. I don't know. I want to get into a boxing ring with it and just tell it my childhood trauma. I've had enough of glowing. I see glowing pets in the pound a lot. Get away from me. Don't talk to me ever again. I've had it. The horrors. I hate glowing. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Gold is kind of a similar situation for me, to be honest with you, which makes me upset. Cause like, I feel like gold could have been really cool. I feel like gold could have been like lustery and like glittery and fun, like a trophy, but it's just so blank and quiet. I feel like they left it to the wind and that just makes me so sad. What if you want to have a good time? No, you have to be a blank like Microsoft Word page of just yellow with a couple white highlights. It's not for me. It doesn't irk me as bad as glowing does though, so I'm gonna like go into kid playing basketball outside my house, but like you're on my watch list, gold. Yeah, you are. Speckled? I have actually found that like speckled can be very cute in woodlandy customs. You know, it can be fun, but it's also just so fucking random. Green and white speckle. I feel like they could have done like a creature specific speckle each time. It could have been really cool. It could have been really neat, you know, different colors of the speckle. But the green is just such like a healthcare green. You'd see it in a doctor's office. I'm gonna have to horrors this guy too. It's so sterile. It feels like the scratchiness of like the Walmart fat quarter fabric, you know, that you get for sewing. That shit's scratchy as hell. You ever felt that? Ugh, that's what it is to me. But the gray paintbrush? Oh my god, the gray paintbrush. Let me list off your beautiful features. It's gray, first of all. It makes them droopy. It changes the face of a pet. And my favorite Neopet of all time is the UC Grey Walkie, so you know what? I am a Grey fan. We all know this. I'm sorry that I support my team. I'm sorry that I'm a good emo player. Not my fucking problem. I represent what I can, okay? Thank you. Have you ever seen a Grey Aisha? One of the best Aishas ever. I love them so much. They are so cute. They're so adorable. They are filled with a sadness that we can't even comprehend. Doesn't that make you want to donate to ASPCA? Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. A Lucid and Jadora Endgame. I'm sorry. Sorry that I know taste. Uh, split can rot in hell. Split can die in a hole. I don't like split. It is the worst color on this website. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why is it purple and orange? And I love purple and I like orange in a lot of cases, but purple and orange in that specific shade of purple and orange, what is wrong with you? I can't look at it. It's so saturated. It's so Odd. Oh my god, Willy Wonka ass. Like, I can't do this anymore. Oh, anyway, Halloween, my beloved. Halloween, my fucking beloved. I love you so much. The Halloween Usual, Halloween Ixi, Halloween Grundo. Halloween Grundo's great. Halloween Grundo's so good. Halloween Bori, the skeleton. Oh yeah. I want to see you star in a low budget indie film, Halloween Bori. You are so gorgeous to me. It's so fun. Half the costumes are so campy. Like, even the colors that I don't like as much in Halloween. Like, they're still good. They still have a special place in my heart. Anyway, I really love the Halloween paintbrush. Gorgeous. Elusin and Jadora endgame. So invisible. I can't believe I'm about to come out as an invisible defender, and I think I just turned the entire Neopets community against me, but I have to speak my truth. I have to speak my truth. I'm so sorry. I think invisible's really cool for customizing. I think you can make a lot of fantastic customs with invisible. One of my favorite accounts on Neopets is Nunnery. Sorry to shout you out like that if you didn't want to be shouted out, but I love it. I love it. Some of their pets are just straight up scenes and it fills me with joy. It makes me giddy. I don't know. I love it. I think it's so cute. And even if you don't want to go that route, there are so many ways to make an invisible pet like look good. And I think that they're a good creative tool. Sue me. Sue me about it. I don't think it's the worst color. Now, is it disappointing on a pet day when you get invisible? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, it is. But don't say invisible is useless because it does have a place in the Neopets ecosystem, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Take it up with my secretary that I don't have. Having a panic attack in Costco, which is lower than I would like to put it, but I need to appease you people, okay? Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Mystery Island. Okay. It's just a little boring. It's not a paintbrush that has ever caught my eye. I feel like a lot of the colors are just so plain that they make an okay base for customizing, but they're still not great, you know? There's nothing I can really do to spice up Island. I feel like a lot of the colors are just so plain that they make an okay base for customizing, but they're still not great, you know? There's nothing I can really do to spice up Island in a way that like counts, in a way that matters. You can't kill me in a way that matters. It's a gluten-free bread loaf. I'm sorry for the people who have to eat gluten-free. I know you're struggling. Kid playing basketball outside my house. I don't like it. <sighs> Okay, sorry, sorry to go with the masses here, but I do love burlap. I think it's a great color. I think it's so neat. I have currently a burlap drake that I'm treating and a permi burlap blue maru, and I love them. I love burlaps. I love the burlap ixie, the burlap Aisha, the burlap cow. I love a burlap, okay? Yeah, they're a little creepy. Yeah, everybody wants one, but you know why everybody wants one? Because they're cool. Court of public opinion ruled correctly for once, okay? I love it. I think they're gorgeous. Look at that fluffy head. A loose and Endgame. endgame. A stunning girl. Stunning individual. Magma, I think, is really, really cool, and I like the idea that you can, like, find your magma pool time and, like, do it yourself. You know, it's a fun little Easter egg, but I also feel like I have never been able to do anything with magma that I like, but I'm not saying that's impossible. I'm saying that I'm bad at customizing magma. I'm bad at customizing a lot of pets, to be honest with you. I'm not a visionary, and I think you could do some cool shit with them if you lean into those warm tones. I love it kind of, but not exactly like my style. So I'm gonna give it like having a panic attack in Costco. I like it just from afar, you know, just as an admirer, not really a user of the magma hype, not really a magma royalty person. You know what I mean? I love y'all in Maltara. Keep making your cogs togs or whatever. That sounds like a sex toy, but I probably won't ever have one of you. Maractite is something that I forget exists like constantly. I don't know. I feel like I never see see people with maractite pets. No one is ever like, hey, looking for a maractite pet. Cause that paintbrush is like four million in the hidden tower. And I don't really give a rat's ass about it. It's so take or leave, it's so boring. And I feel like that's odd cause it's a cool concept. It's neat, it's like Zelda Rooney. You know what I mean? It's glowy, but I don't understand it fully. And I feel like I'm just not the person it's meant for. It's meant for like a niche middle school art teacher, not for me. I'm gonna go with kid playing basketball outside my house. It's just too too boring for me. It is just too exhausting. Moroccan is like the queen of the paintbrushes. You are always gonna find someone who wants a Moroccan pet. You can do some really cool shit with Moroccan pets. They're really like neat, interesting, exciting designs. None of them are the same and they're like the most creative designs I think honestly. Maybe next to mutant and stuff, which I'm realizing now. I don't think I put mutant on this list. And I also don't think I put jelly on this list. I'll rank them arbitrarily at the end, okay? Like I will, I will show you where they would be. I'm not fixing this. I don't feel like it. Okay, I'm tired. But Moroccan is really cool. It's like the edgier older sister of Neopets paintbrushes. And I think like I would honestly love to have a couple Moroccan pets at some point, specifically maybe a Moroccan Ixir as we talk, because I love a nudibranch. But I also feel like some of the designs are a major miss, and by some of them I mean specifically the Minchi. I hate that motherfucker so much. Give me my family back, Moroccan Minchi. I know you have them. Wednesday morning iced coffee. I like it a lot. Get rid of that Minchi and I'll be happy. Happy. Get rid of it. Swamp gas. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I could say like, yeah, you could make this into something cool, but you just can't. It just is not possible. Oil paint? I think oil paint is incredibly overlooked. Like incredibly overlooked, okay? I think that they can be kind of hard to customize because they are so busy, but if you do it right, if you do it like elegantly, I think you could really have something there. And I think they're just pretty. There's so much effort put into them. Like I can tell the artist worked really hard on them. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're lovely. I feel like they would be on a Tumblr aesthetic blog in like 2018. You know what I mean? Gorgeous. It's between Wednesday morning iced coffee and having a panic attack in Costco. I'm gonna go with having a panic attack in Costco. I'm not trying to be sensical here. I'm trying to be whimsical and fun. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed run of like the colors I've missed here because like I said, I made this over a year ago and I didn't realize that I missed so many. So mosaic, I would probably put mosaic in kid playing basketball. I hate that color. It just rubs something the wrong way inside of me. I don't like it. I hate it. Snot, probably the horrors as well. Jelly, 
Eh. You could do something cool with jelly. You could make jelly into like a cool sculpture, like a fun, like a little gummy snack ass bitch. But that's only if you have dedication and I don't. And also mutants. I really like a lot of the mutants. I think there are a lot of good mutants. There are a lot of very, very, very bad mutants though. Jesus, Wednesday morning iced coffee for mutants because I really do like a lot of them, but a lot of them also haunt me. You know, very like Facebook creepypasta. I feel pain when I look at them. I feel horrible for them. I want to send them to a nice college, you know what I mean? Sorry I missed all of those in the actual ranking thing. I don't know what was going on with me. I don't know. I was just having an off day in 2023, okay? The entire year. Orange? I know I said that I like a lot of colors of orange, but I was kind of lying. I don't like orange that much. I want to be an orange lover. I want to be a yellow lover, but unfortunately I was born with hate in my heart, so the horrors. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. There is no orange pet that I'm really like rooting for. Maybe the orange kugra, like once in a blue moon, but not often. You know, you get like one point of bardic inspiration for me, like a little. Not, not really going for it, not gonna grasp it with my hands and cradle it in my palms. Speaking of other things that could be better, we have the biscuit paintbrush, which is just like, I think there are very, very specific cases where the biscuit paintbrush like fucks. I think like if you're doing a little bakery, like a baker pet, mm -mm, eating that up, scrumptious. But other than that, it is very hard to make it work. It just doesn't blend in correctly with everything else. It's left behind, you know, it's a TikTok book and a bunch of classics. It's not really the move. It's not good for you. But I don't want to like damn it to hell either. Kid playing basketball outside my house, I think. I would probably say, yeah, okay. Camouflage. The camo sigh bunny is like okay and the camo hiss is okay but those aren't actually camouflage you know most of the pets in here are camouflage you know i pray for y'all i really do i'm not religious but i pray for y'all deeply something was happening in this era you know something devious was brewing i have to horrors it i have to horrors it i'm sorry candy however i love the sugary look on some of them that sugary effect the artist did ah uh, ah uh. Pop it in my mouth right now, chew the head off first, and then eat them in the correct color ratio, you know, one color at a time. The Candy Drake is so good, so full of color, and like all the textures are so good. They look fantastic, they look edible. I love candy, 100% I love candy. A loose Ninja Dora endgame. A beautiful woman we often forget about. Chewing on that shit like a gummy. Chewing on that shit directly in my mouth and going, Okay. Dimensional? I feel like in theory I really like it. I feel like in theory like you could make so many cool customs with this. Like it could be the Met Gala, but it always depends on how you use it and I feel like there's a very limited amount of areas you could go. Like you could go kind of cyber techy, you could go kind of futuristic, but that's all you got really. Unless you're super creative and then like I bow my hat to you because I'm not you. So I don't know, but I'm an invisible lover so like can I talk? Can I really talk? I'm gonna go having a panic attack and cough. Go. Yeah, I think that's what I can do here. I think that's the best I can give it. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to put them at the bottom, but like I can't do any higher. Get me off the internet right now. Get me off the fucking internet. I can't do this anymore, by the way. I don't like marble. <laughs> I think marble, it's like the Rolls Royce of Neopets colors in that it looks kind of stupid to me, but like other people like it and it feels fancy. There are some marble pets that I think like are executed pretty well and they look really cool and they do have that marble effect and then others kind of look like they were dunked into a vat of nail polish. And that's a very large, you know, spectrum for Neopets. I want to like you. I want to be fancy and cool, but I feel like I'm just wasting money on the luxury when I could have something like Cloud for cheap. It doesn't feel worth it. Having a panic attack in Costco, 100%. I have to go with mid-tier. I'm so sorry, I have to. Origami, there is not one origami pet that I click with, but I think it is so cool. I think it's such a neat idea. Like it brings that sketchiness to the design. It gives it a lot of like bumpiness, a lot of color. It's really cool. And that's why I wish I could respect it. You know, I wish I could, but I don't like, huh. Like putting that next to all of my other pets and the customizations they have, it would just feel like wrong. It would feel fun fundamentally wrong, like God was gonna kick me in the face. And I can't deal with that. I can't deal with the cosmic guilt of having an origami pet. And most people don't think that. So it's probably like a much better color than I think it is. But I'm gonna go kid playing basketball outside of my house. It gets points for the cool idea and the cool look, but I feel like it's not functional. You know, it's not a practical color, but it's fun. And we have landed at pastel, the girl of the year, everybody's favorite color, the one to watch out for until it was, you know, put into the prize 
cool and wasn't worth anything anymore. So all the trading people don't want it. And I am a trading person. I still want it. I think it's so cute. I think pastel pets are like the best of the best, especially the newest ones, you know, the pastel cow, pastel jetsam, even pastel buzz, you know, we did something there. Rosy maple moth, love it. I feel like pastel in its roots was a little bit plain, but like now it's blossoming. I love her so much. Like she is gonna grow up to be a model. She's gonna go to NYU. I think a Lucent and Jadora Endgame. I'm sorry, I do. I do, I think a Lucent and Jadora Endgame. Polka dot, I don't know. The polka dot rookie's cool. I have nothing else to say. Kid playing basketball outside my house. Can we switch it up a little? Can we have some fun with it? Can we stop with the rainbow dots? The muted rainbow dots, by the way. Not bright, muted. Ugh. You can't even let yourself have a little bit of saturation, really. Sad. The royal paintbrush. I love it for its accessibility. I love that it's in the hidden tower. I love the UC versions. Everybody does. You know, that's a rite of passage. You have to love the UC versions. But I also think a lot of the versions now are really cool. The royal girl Bori, the royal drakes are really neat. The royal uni is adorable. I think royal is fantastic. You know, it makes me want to go to a little parade. I want to go there. I want to be where the royals are, but like not in a monarchy. You know, I don't want a monarchy, but I do in fact want to go live in the vat of purple royal paint. A Lucent and Jadora endgame. Love it. 10 out of 10. Gorgeous. Snow? I wish I had the perspective that it takes to enjoy snow. Uh. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I have to put it in second to last tier again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I wish I had more variety for you, but I don't. That is its rightful place. I think steampunk is really fucking cool, and I think the wearables are like the best Neopets has ever done. Like, they are so cool. They're amazing. And you can tell how much effort and thought was put into every single design. The steampunk aesthetic is something that I never really got into. I'm not like a big person in the steampunk community, you know? I don't engage with that. But I do like the idea of it and I think this paintbrush is kind of a perfect execution plus they have really good base colors so you have something to work with there. Saying it out loud makes me feel like I'm more of a steampunk enjoyer than I thought I was, you know? I don't want to rip into it. I think she's really cute. You can really mix and match with a steampunk. You can have fun with a steampunk, you know? Go get a craft beer with a steampunk. I'm gonna go with Wednesday morning iced coffee for steampunk. She's good. She's just good. The toy paintbrush, dude, I love the toy paintbrush. Oh my God, the toy Poogle, are you kidding me? Toy Bori, Toy Drake, there are so many good toys, absolutely fantastic. And they've really been excelling at those lately too. You know, we see more and more really good toys coming out. Even the Toy Jetsam, I know some people don't like the Toy Jetsam, but I do. I think he's a fun little guy, okay? Maybe he could be popped with a needle. What if you were popped by a needle? You'd be sad too, okay? Fuck you. Just too good to leave behind. It's it's just too good and now it's accessible. I don't know, a Lucent and Jadora endgame. Sorry. And the crazy thing is, we are going to not end that streak of paintbrushes I love because I fucking adore the Valentine's Day paintbrush, okay? They really helped us out there. They pulled Neopets from the trenches with that Valentine's Day paintbrush. They said, we see you, we know you're struggling, Here's a little pink drake. Wow. And it worked. It brought the whole team spirit right up. Everybody was filled with joy. That's what happened. They have little hearts on them. What do you want me to say? You want me to say, ew, the horrors. No. A loose and Jadora endgame. Shut the fuck up. Stop. Think about it for a minute. That is perfection. The water paintbrush is something that I just forget about constantly. You know, it is so forgettable. It's water. It's water. And I'm a water lover in real life, okay? Drink a lot of the shit. Think it's nice. Think it's a real good drink. Think it's delicious and refreshing. If you did do something really cool with them, I could see it being like a cool aquarium custom or an ocean or whatever. Other than that, like, see you at work next Tuesday. Cool. How's your daughter? Good? Yeah, she's growing. Oh, yeah, they do that. Okay, bye. Having a panic attack in Costco. It's whatever. It's really just whatever. <laughs> it's so whatever. So beyond whatever that it's whatevs. It's fully whatevs. We're bringing whatevs back for this. Woodland, I think a lot of them are really cute. They're really easy to customize as well because, you know, they're just wood. They're natural. They can blend in with a lot of natural backgrounds. They're pretty, but they're not my favorite. I'm going to go with Wednesday morning iced coffee because I appreciate her vibe. You know, I appreciate the idea here. I think she's cute, but I don't need to see her every single day. She's a very distant 
Wraithian friend. Wraith is really cool. I love Wraith. I love Wraith. There are so many interesting like eclectic designs in the Wraith category. There are a lot of different body shapes and different mouth shapes. You can do some really cool shit with Wraith and I don't think it's utilized enough. I feel like it's just kind of left to die alone, which is really sad because like it's so cool. It's purple and black, such a good color combo as somebody who loves both purple and black. I think we need to have a little event for the Wraith paintbrush. I think we need to lift her up. I don't think she's seen happiness in a while and I want her to experience that. I really do. I'm gonna go with Wednesday morning iced coffee for her as well. Zombie paintbrush, Stream Zombie by the Cranberries, first of all. Great song, so good. I feel like it could have been executed to its fullest with like a lot more variation, you know, a lot more difference in the rot, you know? I feel like a lot of the zombie pets blend together and they're just kind of stale in color, which is like, expected. It's a zombie, but that does make it harder to work with. And that's my main problem with like a lot of these paintbrushes. But I think like the design of the paintbrush itself is so neat and you can pull off like a good corpse vibe. There is a time and place for zombie. It's just not here. It's just not in my heart. Having a panic attack in Costco, I have to say. Derrigan, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Instant top tier instant. I'm sorry. We got purple. We got the gothic vibes. We got the creepiness. That is up my alley so bad. It hurts. My alley in pain right now. I think the wings are fantastic. There are so many good details on Derrick and Pets. It makes me sick. It makes me sick. Neopets designers, you went crazy with this one. You went bonkers and you can get NCUCs of them now. Ugh, the color of the year for me. Be still my beating heart. Derrick and I love you so much. I am so excited to see Lord Cass come back to life. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm on to you, Neopets. I'm on to you. The get off my lawn paintbrush or the elderly paintbrush, whatever you want to say. I wish that I was kinder. I wish I was a better person and I could take in all of the old Neopets with their wrinkly single hair foreheads, but I can't and I have to know my limits here. Having a panic attack in Costco. I can't stomach it. I'm sorry. Stealthy. Stealthy's really cool. Stealthy's an interesting idea because it's like a bridge between the normal black and like kind of a bluey navy color. I like it. It gives you a lot of realms for like spacey themes. You know, you can twist it a lot of different ways. And I feel like that's where the best Neopet paintbrushes kind of excel. I feel like they're really cool and the wearables are super awesome and super versatile as well. Like there are so many good things you can do with Stealthy. It just doesn't run out of ideas. It never gets old. You know, every time I see a Stealthy custom, I'm like, wow. Wednesday morning iced coffee, 100%. Beautiful, beautiful. Love her. She's gonna get her master's in home. Homeland Security, we all know it, you know, go for it. Just don't join the military industrial complex. XOXO, Gossip Girl. Pink, it's pink. I don't know, pink is pretty. Pink is really pretty. But when we put it up against pastel and fairy and valentine, it just comes up basic. It just comes up lackluster and flat and uninspired. So I'm gonna have to like go with kid playing basketball outside my house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could love ya. I really do. I wish you the best. I hope you excel in your life. I hope you find peace. I have seen pirate so many damn times because I have to use pirate morphing potions constantly. I now hate the pirate color. When I see it, it just makes me think of all of my wasted lab zaps. I can't look at it anymore. It's like an old foe coming back to haunt me, coming back to ruin my life, stalking me every single day. I see that pirate bandana and I get flashbacks. I don't want to see that pirate eye patch ever again. Just let me get a good zap and I'll leave you alone too. The horrors. Please, I want to stop zapping, but it would feel like a waste of Neo points if I did, so I just ask for deliverance. Plushy, it's time for me to be a basic bitch again. Plushy is perfect. Sorry, I had to say it. Are you kidding me? How could I rank them any lower? They're perfect. They're soft. They're squishy. They're like an old cartoon that was watercolored in. They're like a Ghibli movie. They make the world a better place. They're sunshiny. They're children's book authors that go to signings in costume, okay? Stop it. If you hate plushies, you hate fun. Sorry, hate to say it. 8-bit is such a good idea if only this didn't happen. I feel like I don't have to explain myself. Jesus. 
Jesus, I wanna like it so bad, but I can't. That Minchi has killed 20 people and he is looking for his next victim. He may be outside your house right now. Go look, go look. Yeah, he's out there and he wants blood, he wants guts, he wants to slurp your intestines like a straw. No. Purple, I am a purple fan. I've said it a million times, but that can only bring it up so much. Having a panic attack in Costco is the highest I can go. Some purple pets are like, okay, they're cool, but it's the same issue as pink, except I like purple better. <laughs> That's literally it. That is my favoritism coming in. Sorry. Rainbow, there are a select few rainbow pets that I like actually think are really cool, but the rest of them, select few meaning one, and that is the Psy Bunny. Just one. I, listen, I'm a queer. I love the rainbow. Think it's cool. This is concerning to me. It just feels like you're in a horror movie getting blinded by colors, and I wish that I loved it. I wish with all my heart. Dragon scale from Dragon Tales. Wish. But no, I can't. Kid playing basketball outside my house. I'm so sorry, my friend. Godspeed. Honestly, really, I mean it. Godspeed. Relic? See, a lot of the older relics don't like them at all, but the newer relics? Oh my god, the newer relics are so good. The Relic Kachik fucks. The Relic Kachik fucks so hard. Oh my god, are you kidding me? A geode? A geode? For all of the rock bitches? That is fantastic. That was really a call to the dark, and we got it. And I think if they continue doing that, Relic could really be just the perfect color. I'm gonna say with the state that it's at now, I would give it like a solid Wednesday morning iced coffee. I just really like crystals. I just really am a crystal enjoyer. Relic could be on NBC by tomorrow if her audition goes well. I love that crystallized, that like rocky look that leans into the features of rocks. So cool, so nice. Robot, I'm a robot lover. I know a lot of people say they're creepy, they're awful, they're terrible. I think robots fuck so hard. They fuck so hard. Are you kidding me? The robot Grundo, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. He's not a scary robot. He's not scary. He's not gonna hurt you. The robot Bori, that is just Fido. Leave him alone. They're so cool. I've been trying to trade my robot Zafara for like ever and nobody wants her, but uh, okay, sad, sad. Maybe I'll just keep her. What about that? I won't, but like, what if I did? They're so varied too. They have such a good shape to them. Oh, mm, design perfection. This is the shadow paintbrush, and I honestly feel like even though you're gonna come at me for being an emo bitch liking an emo black paintbrush, it's also just a good base for customization. I used it for my custom for Unholy, like it's a good base. You can always do something with black. I feel like it's the basic idea, plus it has some purple. It's good. I think it's better than ever. I think it's gorgeous. I think they took the basic idea, but made it a basic that's actually fun. Wednesday morning iced coffee for my good friend shadow paintbrush. This one is actually silver. It doesn't look like it. You might be thinking, huh? What? That doesn't look like silver. It is. It goes in the same boat as gold for me. It just doesn't look silvery. It looks plain. It looks boring. Not my vibe. Sorry. Sketch? One of my first Neopets was a Sketch Uni that I got from the pound, and her name was Hannah Banana, and I loved her. But that was a long time ago, and she has since not been with me. I don't know. I feel like I have a soft spot for Sketch now, and I wish I didn't, because I don't like it. <laughs> I have a soft spot, like a sicko, so I have to go with having a panic attack in Costco. Skunk? Skunk is a very confusing color for me as well. Like, I wonder who sat there and thought of that. Who was like, ah, I got it, folks. Skunk. It's kind of cool. It could be useful in, like, very specific situations, but it does bore me. And I don't think it's a bad color. It doesn't bring up any negative feelings, but there are some dull positives. I guess having a panic attack in Costco. This is like picking SSRIs. You know, it's like, uh, okay, I guess. Might shit myself to death, but you know, whatever. Spotted, there are some real winners in Spotted. There's Spotted Cow, Spotted Hissy, I think. Is Spotted Hissy cool? I feel like Spotted Hissy is cool. I'll have to look later. But there are some winners. However, the regular Spotted pattern is just so meh. It is so middle of the road, but it still manages to be like slightly offensive to me. It just doesn't work in my brain. Brain, but like the spotted cow does pull it up from hell. My baby, my baby, she has gorgeous blue eyes. Ugh, I just want to sink into those eyes, you know what I mean? She's so sweet, but like that only brings it up a little, so I'm gonna go with kid playing basketball. He's gone, by the way, I'm still talking about his ass. Starry, 
fuck starry okay i'm so sorry it's so nostalgic for a lot of people i know that i know that i'm not trying to invalidate you but i have seen so many fucking starry growls in the pound that this color brings up a visceral reaction from my stomach it angers me in a way that i cannot explain to you one more starry growl it's over for everybody i am burning things there has been like a plague of people morphing starry tecos and starry growls in the pound and then repounding them anyway strawberry i feel like strawberry is hated on like a little too much. I feel like some strawberry pets are really cute and could be adorable customs, you know? If you just gave them a little effort, I feel like they could be so useful, so cute, so adorable. I don't really see strawberry pets like ever. I feel like nobody gives them a blink of the eye, but I think we should. I think we as a community should open this case back up. It's cute. It's red with a twist. I just feel like we need to think like a grandma and love strawberries. Having a panic attack in Costco, you know? I actually think striped is really cute. I think the colors are very inoffensive. They're soft. They're easy to work with. They remind me a lot of Cloud. I think they have that similar vibe where they're so just easy on the eyes, you know? I like it slightly less than Cloud, but I feel like it's a good base color, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in Wednesday morning iced coffee because I just like it. You know, I do. I think that we shouldn't look down on striped. It's like cold foam on top of a coffee, you know? And that works because it's in Wednesday morning iced coffee. I'm a genius. Transparent, I really do like transparent, honestly. I love the globulous, like, thick coating. It's fun. It looks chewy. You know, I'm gonna take out the sinew and, like, chew on it with my mouth. There are very much some duds with transparent. The Kiko, for example. Fuck Kiko. I just don't really feel like they take away the positives that much. I think the duds were bound to happen with an idea like this. I don't know. Hmm. Wednesday morning iced coffee for me as well. You know, gonna do that again. We're just gonna forget about the Kiko as a family. We're gonna take a family brainwashing and not think about that anymore because I really don't want to. It's gonna give me like an aneurysm. Tyranian, it doesn't stick out to me. It just doesn't. It doesn't. I want to like the prehistoric vibes, the dinosaur vibes. I do like the Chombi. The Chombi's really good. It's fun. It's a dinosaur. The PFN's pretty cool, but the rest of them are either like boring or just off-putting, you know? I just wouldn't trust them to watch my house when I was gone. Not really the vibes for me. I'm gonna go with kid playing basketball again. Not horrors. Not horrors. Just not great. You know, not the worst in the world. Usukis will forever be that bitch. You can never take the throne away from an Usuki girl and she's gonna cackle and she's gonna flip her phone down and be like, bye, see ya. You know, like you can never take that away. And that is so iconic. Usuki boys or whatever, I'm not talking about them. Usuki girls, yeah, I would pay them to be mean to people I don't like because that is a scathing, scathing thing to deal with. They fuck, I'm sorry. Elusin and Jidora endgame. Love it. White, I actually do really love. I have two white Ixies. I think it's, again, like the perfect customization color if you don't want to, like, go for it more skin tone. You know, you could just do the complete white. And it's really nice. You know, it's a good base. It doesn't distract too much if you want to focus on the outfit. So I think that they're really useful. They're not fun, but they're useful. So I'm going to go with, like, Wednesday morning iced coffee just because the use is so important here. Last, but, like, semi least is the Christmas paintbrush. I think there are some cute designs, like the Zafara is great. I think the Zafara is so cute. Like, I love the halo. There are a lot of good ideas there. The Christmas Bruce is a really cute color. It's just a Christmas paintbrush. You know, you can't really translate that into any other time in the year. I don't want to be festive all year round. Sometimes I want to be a little bit sad and melancholy, and that just doesn't really work with the Christmas paintbrush, but I do think there are a good couple base colors there. You know, the wrong kind of whimsy for me. So I would have to go with, like, kid playing basketball basketball outside my house? Probably. I'm sorry. You have to be on some kind of level with me here, you know? I feel like you understand, right? You get it? Anyway, those are all of the Neopets colors ranked, put into a tier maker just for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for sticking around. I appreciate you so much. Stay safe, stay wonderful, my friends, and goodbye.